I can't. Hi. Are we on? I'm so, we're sorry we our clock was a little bit off, I guess, this morning. It's better than saying we were a little off. <laughs> Maybe we were. <clears throat> we had a big we had a fun day yesterday. It was an annual thing we do with our grandchildren. And I don't know if Joy has a, are you going to show a picture of that or not? But anyway, we went, we went on a, yeah, you can show it. Is that uh, this year or last year? <clears throat> we, well, I'll let you explain the. Okay, the what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a few of these from the Magnolia magazine about things for summer because we did one of them and then we'll keep talking about it uh, one of them is drive with the windows down and turn your radio up i like that oh i like that too yeah especially good music right? yeah 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 and then it says uh take a day trip to some place you've never been uh then it says Perfect the art of stone skipping. I've never learned how to do that. Did you? Yeah. We should practice on the lake with the grandkids next Thursday. You can get but, them so they just kind of at the end they just kind of. Okay, we'll we'll add that to our grandkids list for next Thursday. But this is what we did yesterday. We were a tourist in our own town. Now you can tell them what we did. Well, why don't you tell them the origins of it? Okay, um, do we think it was five years ago? We'll no, have to read more than that. More than that. You were only 10? I was younger than 10. Before. Yeah. It was probably 10 years ago. So, not quite we're from Bemidji, yeah. and uh, the part of Bemidji where um, Red Umbrella is, is Nymore, and those years ago, they were building this beautiful new bridge over the highway. They do, they were doing major it's work. It's a biking and walking bridge. Yeah. And um, when the girls were little, Joy and Elsie, they would come and help us at the store. And so we'd be watching the progress. And I just said, you know what, Joy and Elsie, when the bridge is done, I'll walk over the bridge with you. Well, they got it done. But did Emerson join us the first year already, or just you and Elsie? I think Elsie Asher and Millie the first year. Okay. I think that's the first year. That's what you're remembering. Anyway, it turned into a tradition. After the grandkids are out of school, usually the first Thursday of the summer, we try to plan to do our annual walk over the bridge. There's a beautiful, we park by Green Mill Restaurant and there's a beautiful walking, biking trail through nature, the birds singing, and they go on the bridge. But what has developed over these years, I don't know when you started it? Two years ago. Probably. Two years ago. You want to tell them what they do? Well, what are you talking about? Oh, we should have Joy tell I about this. that. I have, do you want me to show the picture? Sure. I don't know. Is that from? Oh. So that's the, the kids, they get up on the bridge and then they wave and they see how many people wave and then they. From the cars. And they try to get the trucks to honk their, you know, honk their horns or whatever and a lot of I was surprised how many people did yeah. honk their horns so what did you just show the picture from and two years waved. ago no, oh the current the one the current so one. they waved and they, last year they got 123 responses right uh, or not? I come they can't hear yeah me yeah <laughs> Here, Joy, as you can tell you. <laughs> Every year we wave, and if someone waves back, that's worth one point. From the top, from of, the the top of the bridge. And if they honk, that's worth two points. 
So last year we got 123 points. Uh, I don't know how many were waves or honks. Points. Oh, okay. And this year we got 222, <laughs> and then we stopped. <laughs> but I love it. We had a one of Emerson and Asher's friends was along yesterday, Ethan, coffin, and I was standing there with him, and he was. He says, back home where I come from, he says hardly anybody would wave. <laughs> Respond, they would. He's from uh, Texas. Yeah, he's from Texas. Big uh, and, city, Texas. And I uh, said, Well, I guess this must be Minnesota nice or something. <laughs> he says, Yeah, that's what it is. But anyway, it, it, it's been a good thing. Then we go over to, well, we start in the parking lot of Green Mill Restaurant there. And then that's when we walk along the walking trail. It's asphalt. It's a nice place to walk. <clears throat> and it's about a mile and a quarter, I guess, up there, I think is what I measured. Or is that up and back, maybe? But anyway, then when we get back, then we have a pizza. So Usually at Green did. Mill. Yeah, we had yeah. a pizza there. So... Anyway, so, these are, what do we call these? These are just It's just things, things to do things this summer. Do. So and we did that. We put on, I don't know if some of you might have gone past the church. I think we had it on there anyway. Uh, later on Monday and then on Tuesday, it said stop and smell the li lilacs. That's another one of those things. Stop and smell, usually we say, Stop and smell the roses. Well, we had on there stop and smell the lilacs because in northern Minnesota right now the lilacs are mm -hmm. at their peak probably. If you live down in Nebraska, I know then it's about the middle of April when it's, it's earlier. Peak, you know, because I remember <laughs> that. But anyway. So with yesterday, it was significant. Here we are on the top of the bridge, and the grandkids are waving, trying to get responses. Um, Sarah always comes along because we have too many grandkids for just one car. And um, they they would be thrilled, like when, uh, uh, well, just the different way people would respond. Some would stick their hands out of each side of the car window and they'd be going like this. Yeah. Some would kind of go like this from behind the... Some would go. Some would do nothing. <laughs> they'd just kind of ignore it. Uh, and then the horns responding. Some would really lay on the horn. Some would just do a little beep. <laughs> but it would count. Um, one state trooper came under the bridge and flashed his lights yeah. at the kids. That so was I, worth five points. That's yeah. what they determined. <laughs> <laughs> so Asher was thrilled. He says, someone showed the heart. You know, it was just, it's so simple. Oh. When we started the day, I was just talking to the Lord about it, and I just kept thinking of the word simplicity, and I thought, well, that's what this tradition is. It's so Simple. I mean, Joy's going to be sweet 16 in a week and a half, probably, something like that. And Emerson's going to be 14. Uh, the youngest one is, I don't know. Anyway, they're growing up, but they still want to do it with Grandpa and Grandma. Yeah, so, so <laughs> these are things that actually it does flow into what we're, our ongoing teaching is on healing and health and we're on the area right now. We're taking off from Psalm 103, where it says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all of your iniquities, and who heals oh. all of your diseases. Dis-ease. Remember, we've been talking about what ease is. But then what dis-ease is, you know, disease. And we've been talking about how it's, you know, when you think of healing, a lot of times right away you think of our physical bodies, but really it's connected with our emotions and with our mind, the mental 
So we're talking about mental health, emotional health, physical health. They yes. all work together. They affect each other. And my thought is that probably many of you or us, we could say, we deal with those things daily. And uh, we need to know what the Word of God says about it and know how to get the ease, get into the ease place. Mm-hmm. Get into the ease equation <clears throat> and live there. You know, and when we get out of it, not to get in condemnation, but then just get slide right back into that through the Lord. You know, He forgives us, you know, when we get out of out of that place, you know, and that place that he wants us to be, resting in him. Remember we talked about the Sabbath rest that's there for us now every day. Mm-hmm. Not just one day a week. It's for us every day. And uh, so anyway, that's you maybe had some more well, things there. I but. just I what I think just now is it starts with our thoughts. If if we start to get unrestful or agitated or there's things just not right with our muscles or something, a lot of time it starts in with our thinking. And when we see the, that negative spiral, it's one thing to yourself to think like, eh. I and no. I, I don't feel just right or something or I don't care about what's happening right now. There's an attitude, but the key is when we start to speak those wrong thoughts or soulish feelings out of the mouth. Yeah. There be, there's like a little root system that starts that can build with it. And so that's the key with the Word of God. By now, many of us know scriptures, some of them by heart. And to just quote a little part of a scripture, Hmm. uh, it it can be like ointment to us. And for someone else to hear us say that, that's a lot more encouraging than the list of poor me. I feel crabby today. Da da da. You know what I mean? Right. And enjoying then the simple things all around us right now. Yeah. Like you, this. You're not living in, I mean, we're not, truly, we aren't living in tomorrow and we're not living in yesterday. We're living in right now. Right now is the most important moment of our life I mean it is now I mean this is what we are and that's who God is he is the great he's not the great I was (laughs) or he's not the great I will be he has said I am I like that and he's that's present and we're present with him and it's enjoying yeah you know Joyce picked these this morning from our yard this is lily of the valley isn't that neat and lilacs and carnations. Mm-hmm. You should do a close up of those, those just for them to see those. Just, just look at those. Each That's one good. is distinctly different. Look at the difference in leaves and the flower themselves. And there, you said like uh, right now. Well, I had to make that choice as we were getting ready to leave. That's we discovered one. the. That's clocks. why we were late. Well, we discovered the clocks. I thought he said something about the time, like we had more time. But when we were pulling up to church, he says, no, I meant we had less time. Well, I have made a note to cut one of each of these and and start out with touch point. I had to make a decision. Am I going to be in the right now, now, and actually do it? or out of frustration, just grab stuff and get in the car and go. See, so we take, <laughs> take the time, and we that's what we did this morning, Joyce, that she took the time to to do that, to get those. They're very simple things, 
But it does lift our spirits. It, it lifts does. our emotions. And yeah. It, it does. And the smell. And, yeah, just the smell. Each one distinctly. Have you ever smelled Lily of the Valley? Fragrant. Distinctly. Even and what does that do? It connects you back to our Creator and lilacs, God. But then all the different leaves. I, yeah. I don't know if you heard the message from a few weeks ago. It was Mother's Day. Joyce and I were talking about the uniqueness of us as individuals, but then we were discovering that there's not any leaf. You know, we've heard there is no um, Snowflake. snowflakes that are the same. And you think, how can that be with all the trillions of them? You know, not one just happens to be the same? No. Uh, but then we found out the same is true of leaves, trees, leaves. Uh, not the same. He made them all unique. Why did he do this? Why did he make these? And all the variety of flowers. There could have been just one flower that he made. Oh, that'd be sad. <laughs> well, I know. Well, he didn't do that. He made all the different kinds. It's for our pleasure. In the presence of the Lord, there's fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures Ooh, I like that. forevermore. And you don't think that's going to affect your health? Oh, yes, it does. Mm. It affects your mental health, affects your emotional health, and then your body, your physical health, mm -hmm. and your spiritual health, too, spiritually, when you're connecting with the Lord, when you're saying, thank you, Lord. Yes. For those beautiful flowers but then it's also 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 for people mm -hmm. that's where we were the point we were really getting at on mother's day was that we were all unique but we're all special and then we get to know each other one of well some of our highlights yesterday were we ran into people we after we were at well we had time with our family at Green Mill, and it was John's birthday, and Joy's birthday, and Emerson's birthday, we celebrated. And uh, then, um, and it was such a beautiful day, too. We were outside. Outside, we were by the, outside um, by the lake there. and But then we went over to the play park, is that what you call it, play park? That's what you always called it, I guess, by Paul Bunyan. And here. And we're, Babe. Don't and forget, babe, babe, the blue ox. We were, Joyce and I were going to go look in the Welcome Center while they were playing there. For just a moment, we were going to go, and here we we saw the Lucases. <laughs> Adam and Amanda and their two twins, and it was their their birthday. We were So they were celebrating that. The little the, girl's birthday. The, yeah, the twins. And so... We said, you know what, Joy would really like to see them. <laughs> and so she was just about 100 feet away probably on the other side of Paul and Babe there at the play park. And, and so, oh, that would make their day if they got to see Joy because she's their teacher in preschool on Sundays. And uh, anyway, they went there and and they got to play together. Did you have fun, Joy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. So there too. And then we got to share and talk together and that's good for our, our mm -hmm. health as well. And in fact, with well, I, sw I was talking with Adam Lucas, who's a chiropractor, and I, we were actually talking about some of that. Okay. You know, what helps our health and physically and all that kind of things and possibly we'll have them come on here someday that'd be great to to talk to share some things because he was sharing some things with me i said wow that would be good on touch point sometime that's great and uh so we'll see you can pray about that with us that's maybe something that we can do sometime but uh anyway um, simple. Okay, here's yes. the word that I'm getting. You know, possibly next week we'll get to this thing of the prayer language because it talks about in the Bible how that is a rest. Now you may think, what are you talking about? Well, just come again next week and watch and you'll find out. 
But uh, the Lord just put on my heart, simple. We need to talk about the simple things that, the simple things of life, and seeing them, not letting them pass by without acknowledging or stopping to smell the flowers. You know, the, did you have some joy? It's blocking your mustache. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. <laughs> Yeah, we want to see your pretty face <laughs> instead of just the flowers, right? Sorry about that. But the simple things, that's what these are, That those kind of things. That How you're, to enjoy you're reading. summer. Yeah. yeah. Stick your and head out the window. And... But those kind of pleasures, you know, what is heaven going to be like? We're going to... There's going to be things in heaven. There's going to be flowers in heaven. Did you know that? Oh, my, yes. I, I, I can Lord. guarantee you. Say, so, Really, earth, what would we say? You know, heaven is the perfection of what earth could ever be. Well, just picture the beyond. Garden of Eden, how that was. That's right. We, mankind began in the garden. What's a garden? It's the most beautiful mm -hmm. nature and things that could be. And that's where we're going to end. Mm -hmm. We'll be in a garden setting where everything is so beautiful mm -hmm. and manicured. Maybe, you know, I wouldn't mind having some time of duty of just helping tend the garden a little bit. I don't know. But no... Weeds. No weeds. No dandelions with whatever. <laughs> Maybe we'll be developing new kinds of flowers. God will help us to learn how to... You may think, Steve, you're, where are you getting this? Just being in the Word, you know, communing with God, getting to know Him, you start to have a sense and a knowing of some things. You know, and I think that is part of it. We aren't going to just sit around doing nothing. We're going to have things to do when we're in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. We will. And so that's what we look forward to. Yes. But the things now, enjoying those simple things and not allowing the worry things that would try to press in on us and bring us stress, push out the simple things. You know, we can get so focused on things that are negative that we don't think we have time to enjoy mm -hmm. the smaller things. You know what I'm saying? To go to the park with the grandkids or to do this or that, I'm too busy, I can't do it. We know we have certain responsibilities, but we also need to plan those times that we can do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of simplicity, I opened my Bible when we first sat down here, and I kept looking at this joy. Do you want to show this picture for me? And then I'll explain it. I think that has Millie's name on it. Okay, an angel. Well, it's from many years ago. She drew that. Um, I have things in here from my, it's another one that Millie drew in 2015. Little tiny girl. She was sitting in the prayer room with me on a Sunday morning. She drew an angel. I mean, again, the simplicity of Sorry, that. Can you hand me that hymn book that's behind you there? In the, that's the one. But then I also have a note here from... <clears throat> it was almost exactly two years ago. Penny, or Penelope, our granddaughter, ran over to our house from next door. At that time, she was seven and a half years old. And she says... I want to share something with you, Grandpa and Grandma. Well, her other Grandpa and Grandma, Dan and Paula Sadek, like to park their little camper 
on andy and jennifer's yard different times during the summer and she had stayed in their camper with them the night before and she said i saw an angel they were sleeping but i opened my eyes in the dark and i saw an angel well we're obviously listening i says what did it look like it was a girl <laughs> a normal size girl angel with long brown hair wearing white and she said the angel had wings and it brought light into the camper. But she said it didn't wake, the light didn't wake up grandpa and grandma. I recorded that. I put it with my other angel stuff here. <laughs> That's simplicity, but I believe it's reality. Mm -hmm. I believe that's reality. He's talking about heaven. We don't have to wait to know in heaven that there's angel activity, that there's angels of God. We know that here on earth, there's that's part of their um, assignment, assignment what they do. for us here on earth. Yeah. Simple childlike faith. You know, we're talking about simple. That's what children, they have yeah. a simple childlike faith. Jesus said you can't become a part of the kingdom of God unless you have faith like a child, like a little child. Nice. So, yeah, I just discovered, I have it by Psalm 91. I have all these angel things for my grandchildren. And Psalm 91 verse 11 says, He, God, shall give his angels charge over you. Mm. Over you. Charge mm. over you. Right. To keep you in all of his ways so, or our ways. It says to keep you in all your ways. It's our ways, whether you're at a playground, park, or whatever. And so I love that. So it's getting time to close here again today, but I, I'm, I'm going to read this song. Dan Woodward had the message on Sunday. And it was about the vine and the branches, and but he was talking about the world around us and so forth, and mm -hmm. nature. And um, the song, This Is My Father's World, yes. it's one of the ones that he remembers from when he was a little child. One of the first ones he remembers. But just listen to this. This is the song. This is my father's world, and to my listening ears, we have to have listening ears, all nature sings, all nature sings, and round me rings the music of the spheres. That almost gives me the bite. It does. Yes. It's got pumps <laughs> in my hair. That's not from being cold. <laughs> this is my father's world. I rest me. Mm. Oh, yes. I rest me. In the thought of rocks and trees, of skies and seas, his hand, the wonders wrought. Wow. Yes. Thank Verse you, 2, Lord. this is my father's world. The birds, mm -hmm. their carols raise. They do. The morning light, mm -hmm. the lily white. Lily. Lily of the Valley, declare. Why don't you show that again while the lily, the white lily. <laughs> the lily white, declare their maker's praise. Mm -hmm. This is my father's world. He shines in all that's fair. In the rustling grass, I hear him pass. He speaks to me everywhere. Yes. I like that. Verse 3. This is my father's world. Oh, let me never forget that though the wrong be oft 
so strong. Mm -hmm. And we sure know that today, don't we? God is the ruler yet. This is my father's world. The battle is not done. Jesus who died shall be satisfied and earth and heaven be one. So in the midst of all the wrong yeah. that seems often so strong, God is the ruler yet. And we can sense it and see it and know it yes. in everything, all the nature around us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So hallelujah. Thank, thank you, Lord. You, Lord. Lord. You want to close in prayer? Yeah. Yes. We thank you, Lord, that you just really keep things sim simple for us. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. And even when we're weak, you continue to be strong. Thank you, Lord. We love you today. We speak your blessing, Lord, on each precious one that is listening to this. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. And maybe you could show that little sign there, Joy. Joy. The... Well, we, uh, yeah, first that one. We've noticed that... What do you want? You need something? Nothing. Okay, but anyway, the, definitely there's been more people watching since you've been doing just what it shows there on that sign. It's letting more people know about it, and so keep on doing it. And uh, for announcements, you can find them... If you're, you're watching this on uh, Facebook, the announcements will be right there on Facebook. Well, they are, were from yesterday. On Tuesday, we put them out, and Saturday, we give updated ones. So you can just look them up there. And uh, if you're on YouTube, then you can go to our Facebook page, which is Ten Strike Church, right? Ten Strike Community Church. Ten Strike Community Church. And then you can see the the announcements. There weren't any necessarily ones that, uh, I mean, are highly timely. So we'll, hallelujah, we will see you again. Oh, okay. No, What's that? Okay. As we go, there's one other thing Joy will be showing you. Blessings. Okay. Love you. Goodbye.